for sewing down a lace applique on a hem. You're going to pin it where you want it to be. I usually have the bride just stand in it and I pin it and make sure the length is right. Um, and then you need a sewing machine that you can um, drop the feed dogs on. Um, some of the home machines do that. Um, this one has a knee lift. Let's see if I can show you that. Right here. So I can um, release the pressure um, using that. So um, when I do that knee lift, you can see this comes up and down a little bit, um, which is going to reduce the amount of pressure um, and friction between my lace and what I'm sewing. Um, so that'll work just as well as dropping the feed dogs on a home machine. Um, these, these feed dogs are still moving, um, but they're not able to grip the dress like it was. So it's essentially the same thing. So um, basically I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to say my hand is my leg moving the, moving the, the, the lift here. Um, as I'm sewing, I'm going to kind of have it lifted a little bit. And, um, if I need a little more grip, I'm going to back off. If I need less grip, I'm going to swing out. Um, and that's going to control the amount of pressure I have here while I sew. A couple of important things to note is I'm using a size 18 needle. You need a good strong needle with a big hole um, so that your thread doesn't break all the time because you're going to be hitting the cords on this lace. If you use a small needle, um, your thread is just going to break constantly. Um, and I use a good quality uh, Guterman thread. So here you go. Um, now just watch the way I use my hands to hold the fabric straight. Okay. So I'm going to be doing this instead of having like an embroidery hoop or something. Um, I'm going to be using my hands to keep that straight. The pins are stabilizing it. Um, and you're going to see how I move the fabric um, instead of having the machine pull the fabric forward for me. And I want to go in a nice jiggity jag kind of way so that um, I'm kind of crossing over the edge and onto the netting a little bit just to really seal that edge down. Um, but I'm also digging deep into the lace every now and then too so that it doesn't rip easily. So I'm going to do this the whole length of it. Every now and then I do usually stop and uh, just do a little back stitch to lock my stitch down because um, the stitch isn't as strong because there's not as much tension in the stitch. Um, so, you know, every six inches or so, you're going to want to lock that down. After you do your whole uh, length of lace and you've got it all sewn completely, um, then you're just going to want to, um, you know, steam press it with a good iron that's not going to, you know, obviously damage the lace or anything, make sure your temperatures are good. Um, and that's really going to let this lace just kind of schmooze together in there. And you're not going to be able to tell um, that, that it wasn't original to the dress um, or that it had been moved on the dress. I hope this helps you. Have a good one.